I'm Mike Morales, and this is The Young Apologist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, today, as you can tell by the title of the video, we're talking about the um, notion that some but very few people have that um, all religions can be true or all religions uh, are true, which um, especially lately um, off of some of my recent uh, affirmations and postings about uh, how God is the one true God and how Christianity is the true faith. Um, I've gotten people telling me that uh, all religions can be true um, or that all religions are true and just logically that's impossible it's simply impossible because uh, Abrahamic religions for example hold that there is one true God and that is completely infallible and there's one true God. Uh, polytheistic religions like Hinduism, for example, <coughs> excuse me, um, hold that there are several gods, that there's an entire pantheon of gods. And so down at the very basis of who created the world and who runs the world, there's a they're diametrically opposed. Uh, the Abrahamic religions with one god and the polytheistic religions with several gods. So it is impossible to be logically and intellectually consistent uh, with yourself if you say that uh, all religions can be true because they cannot. Uh, there cannot coexist a world in which there is one true god uh, in the same world that there are millions of gods. That's just, it logically makes no sense. There's either, there's either one god and he's the only god that exists, or there's millions of gods. And the truth of the matter is that there's one god that actually exists, and all the polytheistic gods simply don't exist. So it's just factually inaccurate to say, uh, and completely illogical to say that both of those can coexist at the same time because Christians fundamentally believe that there is one God. Jews fundamentally believe that there is one God. And so saying that those two things can be, uh, that those two can coexist in a world where there are billions of gods in Hinduism, for example, it just logically makes zero sense whatsoever. Uh, in addition, uh, Judaism, for example, um, and uh, Islam, for example, and also basically any religion that isn't Christianity, doesn't believe that Christ is the Messiah and is God incarnate. And Christianity does believe that. They can't both be true. Only one can be true. He's either the God, he, he is either God incarnate, God in the form of man, or he is not. And he's just a guy or a prophet, uh, as seen in Islam, for example. They can't exist at the same time. He can't both be God and not be God. And the truth of the matter, the true uh, meaning and the actual reality of the situation is that he was and is God. And so they cannot be true at the same time. It's just fundamentally ridiculous to say anything otherwise, to say that, oh, um, they both can be true at the same time. No, they cannot both be true at the same time. It makes zero sense whatsoever to say that they can both be true at the same time. So this video was a shorter one, but still I feel like it need to, needed to be made because 
It's something I've heard a lot lately and it's just ridiculous and makes no sense um, from an objective, logical point of view. They cannot both be true. You cannot say that all religions are true. It just makes no sense and it makes you look like a fool. Um, and also, if you're wondering about the crazy hair, it's because I took a shower today. And so yeah, that that's the situation there. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. God bless.